In this tutorial, we will see some interview questions. What is the difference between paste and paste special? To find out, let's first select a surface, copy and paste that surface to see that another surface is created. So this is an exact replica of this extrude with the only difference that the feature name is different. Now let's try paste special. In paste special we have three options. The first option is similar or same as the regular paste that we get at the right click and the second option that is as result with link creates a surface which is dependent or which imitates all the features of the parent object or the parent feature. So in this case, if I change the value to say 50, the as result with link changes its value to 50. So the third option, if I try as a result, a surface is created which is datum. That means this doesn't have a parent. This surface cannot or this surface individually cannot be changed with its uh, other parameters. This is just a dead surface. Even if I change the value here, nothing happens to that surface. Now, the next question, can we redefine sketches? Let's try it. Here is a sketch and if I change the value or the size of that and exit the sketch, you can see that the sketch is redefined and the extrude function which is related to that particular sketch is also redefined. How can we change the sketches reference plane? So this question can be answered by firstly creating another reference plane for our sketch. So I'll offset a plane at a distance of 100 mm from the XY plane. And as we have a sketch here, I will change the sketch support before doing that, as you can see, if I go, go for changing the sketch support, you cannot see the plane which, which I have just created. It is because that plane was created after that you have created the sketch. To solve this issue, you can select the plane and drag it and drop, drop it above that sketch. So now if I try changing the sketch support, I can change it to this plane. You can see that the geometry is moved now. Click on OK and right click and define work object. And you can see that the reference plane of that sketch is being redefined. Now let's move on to the next question. What is the use of a 3D silhouette? 3D silhouettes help you to project a solid object's contours to the 2D sketch. So let's just go ahead to a new part to explain 3D silhouette. And I'll create a solid object here. And now, I will select a new plane, a new sketch, and now I will use the project 3D element and select this edge. 
and you can see that edge is projected as a point. If I try to project this edge, it comes as a line. So it is because this edge comes as a point because this edge is projected directly in the z direction. An edge projected in the same perpendicular direction shows as a point. Now I will exit the sketch and you can see that a point and a line is created on the sketch here. Now I will show you that if I change the shape I delete this and change the shape of this sketch and exit the sketch you can see that uh, the project or the 3D silhouette follows the 3D object now let's move on to the next question that is can we use known planar sketches the known planar surfaces for sketching a plane Let's go back to the surfaces. And as you can see, if I select this plane and try to sketch, we get into the sketcher. But if I select a non planar surface and go for the sketch, the sketching doesn't work out. So the answer is no. We cannot use a non planar surface in order to do a sketch. So that's about the interview questions. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.